So after last year's tremendous success of spraying the approaches and tees with rescue, this year we've decided to do the fairways. Uh, rescue is what we call graminicide, which is a chemical that kills grass. So uh, the grass in this case that we're looking to kill is uh, Yorkshire fog and rye grass. So here we are at the start of the fifth fairway. This area will get hit particularly hard with the rescue. Uh, there's a very high content of rye grass in here. This fairway was extended back about 70 yards to accommodate for the new black tea and as a result there's a high content of rye grass in it because we cut it straight down from uh, rough lands so there was no seeding or turfing done this is just all natural so basically we need to start again here so i we're at the start of september just now i would imagine in two weeks time we'll start to see this go go brown it'll look quite lengthy uh, it won't look too bad, but then getting into your, your early winter months, November and December, we'll start to see the, the grass disappear. But hopefully by then, the, the new grass, the new fescue that we've been sowing in, will start to push through. And it's just a case of nursing that on from there. Uh, we'll have to do quite a lot of roping. So, for example, when we're walking off the fifth uh, walkway, we'll probably be pushing everyone out the right-hand side just to rest these areas, uh, especially from golf buggies. But uh, this is probably the, the uh, would be the worst example of how how much damage there's going to be with uh, spraying this chemical. So we're 50 yards further down the fairway on the five now, and we have huge big areas of pure fescue. We're just little bits of contamination with the Yorkshire fog in here that the the rescue will sort out, but uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. You know, you would feel really confident clipping a three wood off of this or even a driver uh, because the ball just sits beautifully on top uh, as opposed to a bare lie that you would get with the rye grass. One of the most significant improvements since last year's rescue work has been the sixth approach. It was a considerable amount of rye grass contamination uh, in this ward here and we've basically achieved our goal of bringing this up to not far off putting green standard. Uh, it's getting cut 7 mil just now, but it's it's very, very clean, which we're delighted with. So uh, it's actually, it's nice and slick and it's a joy to put up if you're going for the green. So the next time you're up playing the six hole, take a look at the right hand side. You can almost see where the sprayer stopped last year. And the rye grass right round the back. And you'll see the difference in quality between the rescued approach an unrescued approach. So this year this area will get turfed and the area up onto the seventh tee will get left as we've sown a dwarf rye grass in there for wear tolerance. All down the left hand side banking will also be sprayed. So two days after the rescue now we're out with Darren Button on the first fairway we're overseeding. We're overseeding with uh, bar fescue at 20 grams a square metre at a depth of around 20 mil, 2 centimetres. Uh, it's quite deep but it's uh, enough just to get the seed right in there because we're putting quite a bit of seed in we really want to get the job done in one pass as it's supposed to go in uh, two, two passes at 10 grams. You can see Dan's taking it nice and slow here. It'll probably take us at least a week anyway to do all the fairways. It's quite a time consuming job. It's, it's a job worth doing well because it's very important that we get the seed into these fairways. The, a lot of these areas with the fog and rise explained earlier will start dying back soon. So it's important that we've got the seed there ready to come through. And when the seed's starting to pop, we'll put a, a nice tickle of uh, slow release nitrogen with some zinc and some seed power on it to give it a boost. And then another two weeks later, we'll do the same again. And then just protect them and nurture them into the winter. That's what, really all we can do. Lay off the iron, don't want to dry the plant out at all. Uh, and just keep them moist as well, we really need to watch that. So by pulling these slits open here, we can check and just see that they're full of seed. Which is good, just a nice depth. Perfect. So we can just pull this open. You can see the seed just sitting in there. 